Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm just gonna change my oil here. So it's about time for me to change the oil, make it new again. And also I do have a little, little bit of a filter leak, so I'd like to get this done as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's prop this up here. There we go. So first of all, we'll just take off this oil filled cap here. Set that aside, make sure you don't lose that. All right, now we'll just jack up the car real quick. Got the heater going. It's about minus 17 outside, so it's a little chilly in here. If you're wondering what type of oil to use, mine's right here on the oil cap. It's 5W30. Got some Mobile One 5W30, and 5 liters, so I should have one liter left because this engine takes four liters of oil and also uh, oil filter as well. So I got some cardboard under there, got the oil catch can, drain pan, whatever you want to call it. So from the front of the car right here, you just want to go back, look for usually a black pan there, and it has a bolt just off to the side there. Right there. That's what you want to take off. Go ahead and do that now. Get some more torque. There we go. So just crack the bolt there. Where is yeah. Alright, so now get your oil pan ready because she's gonna be it's gonna be flowing. Nice and slow. You want to try and keep your hand up so you don't get any oil in there. There we go. Nice. Wait until she drains all the way. There we go. Alright, so we got broken. Drain in there. All right, we'll just wait for that to finish. Just clean all the oil. A little bit of a mess. Yeah, so if you get any oil on anything, just clean it up right away. It is a lot easier to do that while she's still wet. So it's been about five minutes and it looks like she's done. So let's go ahead and clean her up here. Drain plug in. Make sure you not to cross thread it. Make sure you got your crush washer on there as well. Go clean up all the oil. It's finger tight now. All the way until it's snug, and then take your take your wrench and tighten that snug as well. Don't want it overly tight. There we go. So just want to make sure no oil gets out. Crush washer, crush to make a nice seal. There we go. So now let's move on to the oil filter here. This thing is not easy to get off, I can tell you that right now. All right, so once it's loose, just make sure you get your drain pan there and slowly take it off. Now drip some oil, wait for that to run out. On some drain pans, 
They have the oil filter rest right there so you can flip it over and drain the rest of the oil. Just to make it a little easier on yourself. It's a little slippery. And don't drop it in the tank there. So once it stopped draining, look inside there. It's a little messy. Take a rag, clean it up. Make sure you clean this surface as well. Make sure there's no leaks. I'm pretty sure that's what the problem was last time. Didn't clean this. There's just that little bit of a leak. So, making sure I'm getting it done today. Alright. Once you fill up your oil filter, just screw it back on and hand tight. It's pretty good. This one, nice and snug. Before you leave down here, just make sure you got your oil filter on. The must. <laughs> and also your drain plug here as well. Because you don't want to have to fill your oil up and then have it spill all over your floor. Yep, definitely going to use that cardboard. Alright, so before you go ahead and fill up your oil, I will suggest to Make the car level. So all you gotta do now is grab your oil. This is the fun part. Start filling it up. Just don't go too fast. Right down in there. While that's happening, just make sure there's no leaks going on. We're good. Let's keep on filling up. I gotta say, this is pretty hard doing it with one hand. I'm trying to hold the camera and in your oil, it's not the easiest. So on most, yeah, I will say most, they will have a little gauge right here to tell how much oil you put in. So mine should be right about there. When I'm done, it's a quick, quick way of making sure you just put enough in. It's always easier to put more in than take some out.
again, I like to check the oil level every time I get gas, just because why not? You're already filling up your car. Might as well just pop the hood, check the dipstick, and see where the oil level's at. So it's a good routine to get into.